Hey everyone, welcome to a new series from Easy PC Builder on how to build your computer. Today, we go through each of the components individually. We go through the case, the motherboard, the CPU, the RAM, the storage devices, the CPU cooler, the graphics card, and the power supply. Let's start with the case first. So what's the role of a case? Its main role is to house and secure your computer components to provide the best environment for them that's free of static, dust and liquid and provides good airflow for the components as well. So what's inside the box when you buy a computer case? Generally you'll get the case itself and inside the case will be a user manual and a series of screws in there to mount down your power supply, your motherboard and drives into the case. You also get a few cable ties as well for cable management. And we've got a case here as well from a different manufacturer with uh, similar things enclosed. We've got the case itself, the user manual and the screws for the power supplies, the motherboard and the drives and there's some cable ties in there as well for cable management. So computer cases come in different sizes as well mainly to suit the purpose if it needs to be compact or if it, perhaps it needs to be transported. Here we've got a micro ATX case and a mid ATX case, but you can buy the size dependent on your purpose. Your case needs to be compatible with your motherboard chosen. The most common size motherboard size being standard ATX, micro ATX, mini ITX, and for some higher end systems which require more components, extended or full ATX. The case size that you buy reflects the limiting size or the largest motherboard that you can install into the case. For example, if you purchase a micro ATX case, you can't fit a standard ATX board into it, but you can fit a micro ATX board into a standard ATX case, which is quite common. When buying a case, consider expandability also. A small home theatre PC with onboard graphics may only use a mini ITX case. A normal gaming PC with one graphics card, a hard drive, solid state drive, can generally use a micro ATX case and it will fit easily into most mid ATX cases. And if you have lots of hard drives, solid state drives and perhaps two graphics cards, a full ATX case might be best. Consider thermal dynamics when buying a smaller case also, as a smaller case usually mean components can obstruct the airflow through the case. And verify that your graphics card length and CPU cooler height, if you're using an aftermarket cooler, is compatible with the case that you've chosen. So outside of the size of your case, you've also got a few other options. You can choose cases with windowed sides. You can get them in black, white, and aluminium. Uh, you can get cases that support water cooling as well. And generally, the price of the case will reflect the quality of the case as well. Uh, generally, the more expensive cases will have thicker metal that they use in the construction, which is generally better for keeping the case quiet. And you also get a few other features as well, such as removable drive bays and better cable management. So if you'd like to learn more, jump over to our website at easypcbuilder.com, where you can download our monthly updated build guides for gaming PCs of various levels, office PCs and media PCs, and you can also download our Easy PC Builder Master Course. Thanks for watching.